Hey guys, it's Casey Warner. I'm here with my favorite trainer, Christina, who just Hello. kicked my butt. And she's gonna show you a few of her favorite techniques and fix what I'm doing wrong. So even if you're a trainer, I want you to find someone who can challenge you past what you're used to doing. And that's what Christina does for me. So here we go. So I have some favorite ab exercises. I really like to work on stability uh, for the spine, especially. Uh, so we're gonna do, we're gonna use the stability ball today. Uh, we're gonna do, the first move we're gonna do is called a saw, okay? So it's an advanced plank exercise, but when we do it, I like to squeeze the glutes and um, keep the hips at a good angle. And when we saw, we're gonna come out without letting our hips move. So a common mistake on this one is people come out and get, and get pulled forward. So we're only coming out as far as we can without getting moved forward. So I'm gonna check out my friend Casey here, make a few corrections. We're gonna do, let's bring our hips up just a little bit. We're gonna squeeze your glutes. So you're gonna squeeze these. Okay. And we're gonna try to get this straight. So right now we're dipping. So this is a little, I don't, sorry. I'm gonna show you. <laughs> no, you're good. So this is a common thing on saws. What happens is, the hips will tend to dip, but we want to go the other way. So we, yeah. So we want to make a flat back here. So we're going to roll out, yup, and it's not going to pull us forward. So right here, yup, looks good. And you should feel it a lot when it comes out. So that's one of my favorite planking exercises. It works. It's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> I like it. Okay. So How many would we do with that? I like to start between eight and work up. You can work up to. 20 of those, but a lot of times my clients don't really go past 12 because it's slow. Yeah. yeah, perfect. So the second one that's my favorite is called a churn, and it's a little bit harder than a saw. So I like to take the stability ball and put it where the, the circles are going in this direction. Saw this way, churns that way. <laughs> nice. Just makes them feel better. <laughs> but what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in that same position of the saw, okay? And then we're gonna churn. We're gonna go in a circle. We're not going to let our hips move. And if you can talk really well, you're probably not doing it right. Nice. Let's, let's check out my friend Casey here. Okay. Okay. Yup. Yeah. Yup. Yeah. Good. Nice. And the further, the wider circles you do, the harder it is. It starts small, because it's harder than it looks. Yep. Let's move good. And then you end up going both ways. I would say Woo. a good way to start is to do six each side and work your way up to 10 to 12 each side. 12 is pretty difficult. Awesome. I love yes. that. Okay. Thanks, Christina. I love that. Y'all try that at home. We'll see y'all later. Thanks.